Hello dear friends and welcome back once again to another video. Today we are going to draw a hummingbird. Okay, so uh, today I am going to draw the outline using a pencil first and then later on we will color it. So we will start with This is the head and uh, this is the body. As you know, hummingbird is a very small bird. Which I think has the fastest flapping wings among birds and it can move forward and backward while in flight which usually birds can't This is the body now. We are going to draw the wings. Claws over here. Okay. Now uh, the beak. It has a very long beak, long thin beak to suck the nectar from the flowers. Okay, so the outline is almost done. This is the eye. Okay, so the outline is done now. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to use different colors to because it's a very bright beautifully colored bird so we are going to draw using different colors for different areas right so I'm going to use this purple to draw the lower portion of the head we're going to leave the beak for the time we'll do it in the end okay so right okay. and uh, then I'm going to use green to draw the remaining area of the belly and the back side as well. Okay. And I'm going to use this. It is actually 
thing that is a bit dark to draw the wings Now I'm going to use blue green and I'm going to start with the back and the belly area. Okay, so now as you draw try to darken it over the edges and lighten it as you come towards the center of the body because that's the area where the light gets reflected more and since the, uh, the feathers are shiny they reflect light so you ought to shade it lightly near the center okay This has got a lot of color. I think that this video is going to be a bit long because there's lots of details involved and I can't miss them. to use this green this is light green and I'm blending it along with the previous color that I used again you have to darken the edges
okay now i'm going to use purple to just shade this area Okay, and now I'm going to use blue to shade it. Remember to blend these colors together so that there is no boundary between different colors shade it in such a way that they blend well Okay. Right. Now Okay, now I'm going to use this purple again, light purple to Shade the wings. First, color it lightly.
okay now i'm going to shake the edges Hummingbirds are extremely active birds and uh, they have a very high heartbeat rate. They need a lot of food in the form of nectar because they are spending a lot of energy on flying and they have such a small body so they need to feed themselves throughout the day. And, uh, since they have to spend the whole night starving, they sort of reduce their heartbeat and uh, other metabolism to survive the night so that they wake up in the morning and again go to feed. So they have only this activity of feeding otherwise they will die soon so that's one peculiarity of this bird they have very extremely small legs spectacular phenomenon watching them flying forward and backward okay right now good pick red and shade the tail area lightly Take care not to darken the color. Okay. 
Now use this orange sketch pen to just draw the border. Right. Now I'm going to use a black pen to shade the feathers. And for that, what you do is that you just draw strokes like this small. Don't press it hard. The more time you spend like this, the more realistic it will look. But since I don't want to extend the video too far, I will just make a few strokes and then leave it for you to complete. I'm just showing you the way that it has to be done. Right, and on the head also, Okay, now let's complete the head first. I think we will do the eyes. Eye now. Right? And then leave a big white area to show the reflection of light. And then Right? Okay. And then just leaving a small circumference, draw a thin line. A broken line would do. Okay. Right. <clears throat> and now the wings. Just draw a black line like this to just differentiate it from the other wing otherwise you may not be able to see that
okay there, there's a few shading that has to be done with black pen as well black pencil color pencil that is the last thing that we'll do okay so here to they have very small feathers so drawing small curved lines like this is enough unlike big birds when you draw big birds you have to draw the feathers properly because otherwise they will turn out like fur of animals so you have to that is a cumbersome job drawing feathers They are not very prominent and so you do need not spend too much of a time drawing the details of the claws. So right. using a black charcoal pen pencil to just shade the beak because the upper portion of the beak is lighter than the lower portion so since the beak is very thin I don't want to use a plastic crayon because it will go off the boundary so I'm using a charcoal pencil I could have used a pencil as well, a graphite pencil as well, but I prefer using this because it go well with the black color that we have used to draw the lines. Okay, and now uh, what remains is shading with black, just few places you got to shade it with black so that it looks more beautiful this is not essential but 
I would say that shading with black will make it look more natural not everywhere like don't do it everywhere just on the borders and a few places where you feel that the shadow is falling directly okay right so I think we can stop it here otherwise it will keep on moving okay just here to bit of shading it will look better Okay, so we have come to the end of today's video. That was Hummingbird for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you.